Thank you very much. Our next talk will be on coordinated multi-arm motion planning, a reaching for moving objects in the face of uncertainty. Please go ahead. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nadia Figueroa, and today I'm gonna to talk about a novel approach for coordinating multiple robot arms in the task of reaching for a moving object. This is joint work with my colleague, Sina Minasavi, and our supervisor, Old Villard. Our work is motivated by the following scenario. Imagine having two fixed robot arms and an object moving towards them. The goal of the robots is to reach for the object, grab it, and place it at a specific location. Sounds very simple. What's challenging about the task is that we don't have an accurate model of the, of the object's motion or its dynamics. So in this paper, we focused on uh, the reaching part of the task where the robots must coordinate their motion with that of the objects such that they reach the object simultaneously at the desired positions and uh, all the while dealing with this uncertainty of the object's motion. In our approach, we assume that we know the object states, the robot's workspaces, and the object's reachable areas. So as the object starts moving towards the robots, we use a very simple motion prediction algorithm to roughly estimate the object's trajectory. Now, along this trajectory, we choose a point, which we call an intercept point, where the object's reachable areas are feasible for both robots. Now, in order to coordinate the motion of the robots with each other and with the object, we propose this idea of a virtual object, which is basically a duplicate of the real object's reachable areas but it's connected to the end effectors of the robots via serial length springs and dampers. So our approach boils down to generating stable motions for this virtual object. And we do so by proposing a dynamical system where A is a combination of stable linear matrices and uh, U is the control input, which is a function of the object's uh, current state, the robot states, and the desired intercept point. Now, as the object starts moving towards the robots, this intercept point is being updated on the fly, and the virtual object consequently is adapting to this new intercept point until it reaches uh, its convergence. So, <clears throat> now to control the robots, we propose a stable tracking control law such that now the robots converge to the virtual object. With this formulation, we can mathematically prove that the virtual object and consequently the robots reach the real object simultaneously at the desired positions and at the current intercept, at the final intercept point, basically. In this video, we can see how these two robot arms are coordinated with each other using this virtual object approach. Um, and we can show that it's, it provides not only a coordination but also some sort of self-collision avoidance. Here we see how the robots coordinate with each other and with the, uh, with the real object. In the top left corner, you can see a visualization of the real object, which is the blue box, and the virtual object, which is this green box over there. Now, because the motion of the virtual object is generated by this dynamical system, it is robust to inaccuracies in the object's motion. So in this video, you will see how the robots adapt to an unpredictable motion of a blindfolded operator. Also, since our dynamical system is closed loop, it is quite robust to perturbations. Here you can see how the robots are coordinating with the object while I'm moving it, and Sina, which is the other author, he's perturbing the robots, and they're moving in coordination with all of the different things that are happening. Now, the most important advantage of our approach is its computational efficiency. In this video, you will see how a human throws an object to these two robots, and they are actually capable of intercepting it at the desired intercept point, even though the object's flight duration is less than 300 milliseconds. Yeah. In this trial, you can actually see how the arms move in different directions, but at the end, they actually reach the desired intercept point. So if you're interested in more details of this approach and you want to, or you want to watch just some cool videos of us playing with our robots, 
come to my poster. It's number 19. Thank you very much.